Like a lot of you guys, I am a relative modern day Resident Evil fan. My first game was Resident Evil 7 Biohazard in 2022, and since then I've played Village 1, 2, 3, and 4 remakes, with 4 being one of my favorite games of all time. It's been a year since the last release, which was 4, and with that game they introduced their remake version of Albert Wesker, who kind of acts as the primary antagonist for the game's RE1 up until RE5. In the RE4 remake DLC Separate Ways, he plays an even bigger part, and shots of him at the end in his base seem to imply that Resident Evil 5 will be the next remake. Now, I've been collating all rumors and leaks from the internet, and so far, these are the things that we have heard. Just to clarify, none of these are facts or backed up by Capcom. A lot of these have come from a well-known leaker called Dusk Gollum, who's been known to get a lot of things right when it comes to previous Resident Evil games. So the rumors are, there are five Resident Evil games currently in development, including Resident Evil 9. RE9 will be called Apocalypse. RE9 may be the first open world RE game. RE9 will be a closing chapter for some of the of the narratives and a beginning for a new narrative. So let's focus on RE9 for now, starting with the title. Both of the last new games had subtitles. RE7 was Biohazard and RE8 was Village. So it makes sense that 9 will have a subtitle and Apocalypse sounds pretty good to me. Maybe it will be Apocalypse to go with the recent style of including the number in the title. So perhaps there'll be a number 9 instead of a P or maybe the I and the Y will be made into the Roman numeral for 9. Going into the open world rumor, so we got this from Dusk Gollum via Twitter or X. So here's a little tidbit I'll share. Capcom often will greenlight new initiatives in threes closer together. Decent examples are RE7, RE2 and Devil May Cry 5 were all greenlit fairly close together to take advantage of their new RE engine and the idea to remake RE2 inspired them to also take on RE3 and 4 for a remake initiative. Dragon's Dogma 2 expanded RE engine functionality for open world games. The other two games building on this tech are Monster Hunter Wild and Resident Evil 9. Personally, I do not lean towards an open world Resident Evil game. If they mean open world like GTA 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2 or any Ubisoft game, then I'm not quite sure how that would work in terms of horror or even survival horror. For example, how would you ensure scaring people at the right time in a game if people can visit areas in different orders with different loadouts and weapons, etc.? What I would not mind is a linear open world, a bit like Jedi Survivor or Uncharted 4 did with that one chapter in the massive area you can explore in any order. I would be open to that. For me, I find parts of Resident Evil 4 Remake and Village to be a bit of a linear open world. You can explore different bits before returning to the main objective. Obviously, an open world Raccoon City would be super cool, especially if they have tyrants or a nemesis villain showing up at random times that you have to deal with. Then the next rumor, there is a lot of talk about RE9 being a chance to close a few chapters while starting new ones, which can make sense. RE7 introduced a new hero and new villain, so maybe 9 is a chance to end the narrative arc of games 1 to 9 and start the next big chapter of the series for Resident Evil 10 onwards. My personal theory is that a major character will die in Resident Evil 9 and my bet is that it will be Chris. I think Chris will die heroically trying to save someone else. Maybe Rose or Leon, who knows. And lastly, onto the best rumor that there are five games currently in development. Looking at what is left to remake and what's coming up, that could mean Resident Evil 9 along with remakes of 5, Code Veronica X, 1 and 0. Personally, I think Capcom should do the following. Focus on Resident Evil 9 and Code Veronica Veronica X remake with them releasing in 2025 and or early 2026. Remake number one, the OG from the ground up so it fits into the modern game style and release it in 2026 to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the original release. Then make the RE5 remake, make a new RE Revelations 3 game which can jump into any point of the timeline post RE5 and use any characters they like. And then finally remake Zero. I think Code Veronica X remake is more important and a higher priority than 5. Code Veronica X is considered a mainline entry, a popular game, and it fits right in before number 5 in terms of the story timeline. RE5 is only 14 years old, it's a PS3 title and it's still played today by millions. I plan on playing it very soon, whereas Code Veronica X is more old school and definitely more in need of a remake. The last few years we've been sport with Capcom nearly averaging a release a year with the lineup of 2019's Resident Evil 2 remake, 2020 Resident Evil 3 remake, 2021 Resident Evil 8 Village, 
Village and 2023's Resident Evil 4 Remake. So now imagine that we could potentially have this 2025 Resident Evil 9 Apocalypse and Code Veronica X, 2026 Resident Evil 1 30th Year Anniversary Remake, 2027 Resident Evil 5 Remake, and then to top it all off, 2028 Resident Evil Revelations 3 and Resident Evil 0 Remake. If indeed we have at least four to five games to look forward to, then the future of Resident Evil looks very bright. This new RE engine plays amazingly and makes the games look really beautiful. And hopefully all of the money Capcom have made from the three new remakes and all of the new fans they've gained inspires them to make nine the biggest and best entry so far and give us newer fans what we really want, the ability to play older titles with today's gameplay standards and expectations. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy all things Resident Evil, make sure to check out my play list of previous Resident Evil videos I've made including platinum tips, RE4 weapon tier list etc and loads more. Thanks again for watching.